I'm Phoebe and this is my best friend Alice. Hi, I'm Alice. When I was two I had Wilms tumour, that's a type of kidney cancer. But thanks to the clever doctors and nurses I'm all better now. We're here to introduce you to Dr Patrick. He's going to tell you about all the work that he does here for children with cancer. Hello Dr Patrick. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> And because it's very clever stuff, we're going to help you understand what it means. So, Dr. Patrick, do you work in a hospital making people better? No, I'm afraid not. I'm a researcher, a physicist, and I develop new imaging techniques to help the doctors that are treating children that have got cancer. So does that mean you work in a, a big laboratory? Not the traditional type of laboratory with test tubes and chemicals, but my laboratory is the MRI scanner, and I use computers to analyse the images that come out of it. So what do you do all day with your big scanner? I develop new diffusion and perfusion weighted MRI techniques to improve the diagnosis and monitoring of children with cancer. Are you? Yes I am. <laughs> when I was little I had a scan. It's like a camera that can take pictures inside your body. Is that right? Sort of. Some scanners, like CT scanners, use x-rays to make images. But the great thing about MRI is we can use the signal from the water molecules inside your body to make really detailed pictures. Wow! <laughs> so why are you trying to invent a new one? Well, traditional MRIs are great at telling us where a tumour is and how big it is, but they don't tell us everything we need to know. So you mean the picture's all blurry? What else do you need to know? Well, I'm using those same water molecules that give us our picture to explore the environment they're in. So I look at how easily they can diffuse inside a tumour, because that tells us how tightly packed the cells are, and how they move around in the bloodstream, because that tells us how much perfusion the tumour's getting. Now that's really clever. Dr Patrick's trying to help the other doctors get better pictures of cancer. And that will help them give much better treatment. That's right. We'll be using this research to develop new biomarkers that will help us predict what a tumour will do and how best to treat it. Oh, a biomarker is a molecule or a gene or even a picture. It'll help find out what sort of cancer you have and where it is occurring. And if they know what sort of cancer it is, it will help them to give much better treatment. That's right. We can use these advanced imaging techniques to see where a tumour lies in relation to the important white matter tracks in the brain. And this helps the surgeon choose the best route to get to the tumour. We can also see where the most malignant part of a tumour is and this helps the surgeon choose which part to sample for a biopsy. What Dr Patrick means is that you can sometimes only find a cancer if you've done an operation. But with this new technique, they'll be able to use the scan to find out what sort of tumour you have and if you're getting better. It will also help them to plan an operation so that they avoid damaging the important parts of the brain. That's right. Thanks, Dr. Dr. Patrick. Patrick. Good, Good luck, luck with your research. Thank you.